Welcome to Daily Wisdom, Walking the Path with the Buddha, a podcast shared by David Roylance. This podcast is dedicated to guiding you to completely eliminate the discontent mind and the suffering it causes by attaining enlightenment. Learn and practice the teachings of Gotama Buddha that will guide you to fully attain a peaceful, calm, serene, and content mind with joy. To support this podcast, visit patreon.com forward slash support Buddha or visit buddhadailywisdom.com where you will discover a full range of courses, retreats, and online learning resources to assist you on the path to enlightenment. Now, here's our teacher to share more. สวัสดีครับ Hello and welcome to Daily Wisdom, Walking the Path with the Buddha. Today is our group learning program and I'll be guiding you in breathing mindfulness meditation and then opening up to any and all questions you guys have related to the path to enlightenment. Whether that's about meditation or any other aspect about the path to enlightenment, today is a day that I open up to any and all questions that you guys might have related to the path to enlightenment. So I'd like to welcome all of you, whether you're joining for the first time or you've been joining regularly, and at the same time invite you to join for guided breathing mindfulness meditation. If you'd like to join for meditation, there's four positions that the Buddha taught for this meditation, seated, lying, standing, and walking. I usually guide students online through the seated position because that's usually where people are learning. But as you take various courses or retreats with me, I go into expanding the other positions so that you can learn those as well to make those part of your practice. So if you're sitting on the floor or you're sitting in a chair, you'd like to just sit with your lower body comfortable. If you're on the floor, you might sit with your legs lightly crossed with maybe a cushion under your rear or something like that. And if you're in a chair, people tend to like to put their feet flat on the floor or lightly cross at the ankle. There isn't just one particular way to position the body because all of us have different types of bodies and we'll find different things comfortable. So you'd like to find something that's comfortable for the lower body, not luxurious and not painful, but comfortable. The hands and the arms, the Buddha put his right hand over his left with his thumbs together and he put that into his lap. If that's comfortable for you, you could use it, but there's other options as well. Again, it's not about everybody doing it exactly the same way. So you might decide to put your palms on your thighs or your knees. You might even put your palms up. It's what's ever comfortable for you. The upper body should be erect. This keeps the mind attentive and alert during the meditation. It also opens up the lungs by having the sternum up and the shoulders back. You can take nice, gradual, steady, consistent breaths into the lungs, which will help to slow down the breath and fix the mind on the breath so that then you can slow down the mind. You won't have this racing mind all the time. As we get ready for meditation and you're getting into your body positioning, I'll let you know that I will typically ease us into meditation with some chanting. These chants, there's not any rites or rituals or ceremonies or worship as part of the teachings of the Buddha. This isn't mystical or magical or anything like that. This is just to help ease the mind in the meditation in order to get more benefit out of the meditation itself. And I teach these chants at different times. You're welcome to learn these if you like. During the lifetime of the Buddha, they used chanting as a way to remember the teachings. Every two weeks, he would help his students to recite his teachings word for word. This was a way to commit them to memory. So I still do this chanting, not as a way to commit the teachings to memory because we have books, videos, podcasts, and things like this for that. But instead, just to ease the mind into meditation and get more benefit because you're kind of invigorating the mind and becoming aware of the mind and aware of the breath as you ease into meditation. So if you'd like to join along in the chanting, you're more than welcome to. And then if you continue to learn with me at different times, you'll see that I teach chanting chanting that will help you to be able to learn how to do these chants. So find a body position that's comfortable, that's not luxurious or painful, that's comfortable. And if you'd like to chant along, you're welcome to, but you might just decide to close the eyes and start breathing in through the nose and out through the nose. Then I'll be back with some more guidance to be able to help you in meditation. สัมมาสัมมาโตมะคะวะโอตังมะคะวันหังอภิวาเตมิ 
comfortable and the upper body erect just close the eyes and start breathing in through the nose and out through the nose here you're looking to establish the breath a nice natural steady consistent breath not forced or controlled, just a gradual inhale through the nose, experiencing the full breath. And then whenever you're ready, exhale out through the nose, breathing in, and out breathing in and out your breath may not match up with the guidance that I'm providing and that's okay this is your practice I'm just here for guidance. You can use this voice as a reminder that whenever you get to your next inhale, breathing gradually through the nose, establishing a nice, natural, steady, consistent breath. And then whenever you're ready, exhale out through the nose experiencing the full breath. Breathing in and out. Breathing 
Breathing in. And out. With the breath well established, start fixating the mind on the breath. Either the sound of the breath coming into the nose or the sensation of air moving over the skin into the nose. The breath is the present moment. Fixate the mind on the breath, the present moment. Breathing in. And out. Breathing in and out. With the mind fixated on the breath, whenever you notice that it moves off the breath, cut that off, let it go, and come back to the breath, the present moment. No need to observe the thought, label it, judge it, analyze it, or even try to figure out where it's coming from. Whenever you notice that the mind moves off the breath, cut that off, let it go, and come back to the breath, the present moment. Breathing in. and out. Breathing in and out. I'm going to be quiet now and let you do this work of focusing on the breath, cutting off and letting go anytime the mind moves off the breath. You have nowhere to go. There's nothing to do. No one needs you right now. This is your time to focus on the breath. Breathing in and out.
your way out of meditation what I'm going to do is open up to any and all questions that you guys have related to the path to enlightenment you can ask those by putting them into Facebook YouTube or zoom or in zoom you can raise your hand electronically and ask any questions or follow-up questions directly looks like we have a question here from Mayuli in Facebook teacher is there any resources that you can direct me to when reflecting on death? The way to, or I should say the only resources that you need in order to do this is to establish the understanding of how to reflect on death. And I do have a couple of classes where I've taught this. So if you haven't learned how to do it yet, then you can go to that resource and learn how to do it. But I think you've learned how to do it. You can also contact me privately, Mayuli, and we can talk in Zoom and I can help you learn how to reflect on death. I'm going to be teaching a Harmony and Relationships course coming up in February where I'm going to be teaching it there and it'll be accessible by Zoom. And I'll also be teaching it in April at the Harmony and Relationships course as well, which will be live streamed and recorded. But there's a few places where it's been recorded. But the only thing you need is to learn how to do it. And that only takes probably three to five minutes to really teach you how to do that and give you a chance to ask any questions. Because once you actually are doing it, that's where the real work is. There's nothing else other than just to learn how to do it. Let's see if we have any other questions here anywhere. I'm not seeing any other questions anywhere. Let me just check one more time. Yeah, I'm not seeing any questions anywhere. 
So what I'll do is uh, just thank all of you guys for joining for today's class and invite you to attend our future classes. Here on Wednesday, I just do guided meditation with you guys and then open up to any questions. That's what I'm doing right now. But what I do on Sundays is I go chapter by chapter in this book, Developing a Life Practice, The Path That Leads to Enlightenment. This week, we're going to be in chapter 21, which is titled Do No Harm, What is the Future of Our Planet? So each Sunday, we're going to cover a chapter in this book. And we're going to be restarting this entire program in the middle of March. So you're welcome to restart the program then if you'd like. Some people like to come in towards the end like this, and then they're in the habit of coming to the classes. And then when I restart the program, they're there from the very beginning. Because the very beginning, I walk you through this book chapter by chapter and helping you develop a really nice foundation in the path to enlightenment using the original words of the Buddha. So if you'd like to do that, you can attend on Sundays and Wednesdays. And where you can attend, then it's recorded on YouTube, Facebook, and in our podcast. And then on Saturdays, we have our Pali Canon and English study group, where I explore volumes two through 13 of our entire book series. And I'm doing this at nine o'clock in the morning and nine p.m. in the evening. I do it from 9 a.m. at the temple, and then at 9 p.m. I do it from here at home. So no matter where you are in the world, no matter what time zone, you should be able to find a live class. And then where you can't attend it, you have the recordings in YouTube, Facebook, or in the podcast. So thank you all for joining. I look forward to seeing you guys in a future class. Have a very lovely and wonderful rest of your day. Take care. Sawadee Thank you for listening to this podcast. To provide support for this podcast, visit patreon.com forward slash support Buddha. To access more teachings, visit buddhadailywisdom.com. There, you will discover a full range of courses, retreats, and online resources to assist you on the path to enlightenment. Remember to establish a daily, consistent meditation practice, along with learning and practicing these teachings. A well-developed meditation practice is the foundation in which to train the mind to attain enlightenment.